Hello my fellow miner, yes I'm back with some more crypto mining, this time Ethereum while it lasts. Well, ETH mining is almost over, uh, at least for proof of work, of course you can always stake. So before we move over to a branch of Ethereum, then I just wanted to cover the real thing, before it's too late. Drop a comment with which other cryptocurrencies you are interested in, and I will cover them as well. Before we have a look at the overclock settings and the results of Lot Miner version 1.53 mining Ethereum, I would like to introduce you to a new YouTube channel that I've created where I cover C Sharp development that can also be used for Unity game creation. The first four videos are up and they are very beginner friendly, so if you haven't coded anything, you can easily start. Change log. Right, let me just boil this down to version 1.53, as uh, the last one I covered was Lot Miner version 1.50. In short, a lot of stuff have been added, including new dual mining mode, which is always nice if you like that. Besides that, some bug fixes and performance optimizations. Ethereum overclock settings. Overclock settings for the RTX 3050. Lock the core clock to 1200 and set the memory clock to 2300 in HiveOS and 1150 in Windows. This can now be LHR unlocked but not 100%. And now the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR V2 mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1552, set the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS which is 1300 in Windows. On to the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1 Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 13.50, set the memory clock to 2100 in HiOS and 1050 in Windows. Now the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR Hynix Revision 2 Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 3200 in HiOS and 1600 in Windows. It is time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 11.25, set the memory clock to 2400 in HiveOS, which is 1200 in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 900, set the memory clock to 2100 in HiveOS, 1050 in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 10 gigs mining Ethereum. Set the core clock to 1100 and the memory clock to 2800 in HiOS, which is 1400 in Windows. And the final card until I get my RTX 3080 Ti back from repairs. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 12 gigs mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1400, set the memory clock to 3200 in HiOS, which is 1600 in Windows. Results First up we have the most fantastic card of them all, the RTX 3050 mining Ethereum. This fantastic Speedy Gonzalez graphic card is averaging a mega hash at 24.1 per second, which is fantastic, at only 70 watts average. Wow. I highly recommend this graphic card to anyone who likes to throw hard things at people, because it sure sucks at mining. Up next we have the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum. The average hash rate is 49.1 megahash per second at 114 watts average. Now let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3060 Hynix Revision 1 mining Ethereum. The average hash rate is 58.8 MHz per second at 135 watts. And now the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2 mining Ethereum. An average hash rate at 63.9 MHz per second at 158 watts. Let's have a look at the RTX 3070 mining Ethereum. 60.9 megahash per second at 123 watts. Those are some crazy low mid max core temperatures. Let's have a look at the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. An average hash rate at 78 megahash per second for 198 watts. Yes, my RTX 3070 Ti sucks. I even ordered a copper shroud for it, but actually never received it. But at least I paid for it a couple of months ago. Crazy that I just remembered that now. And now the RTX 3080 
10 gigs mining Ethereum. 101.4 MHz per second at 241 watts. Core and memory temperatures are quite low, especially considering that it's summer here. Finally, the RTX 3080 12 gigs mining Ethereum, an average hash rate of 111.2 MHz per second at 287 watts. And here we actually see mid max core and mem temps jump a bit, and that is of course due to these still needing Ethereum unlock. I believe the LHR unlock is at 91.6 or something like that for the RTX 3080 12 gigs. I honestly don't understand why Nvidia haven't removed LHR completely as they are not really selling their graphic cards at all currently, they are quite cheap and no one wants to buy them. Let's have a quick look at the mining screen. LotMiner version 1.53 ran for 1 hour and 20 minutes. All the results are based on 1 hour and 10 minutes as I skipped the first 10 minutes. The actual mining screen is looking fantastic as ever. Please don't change it because I don't want to change my average calculator uh, application again. Yes, I've made an application that scrapes all the results and do all the calculations for me because I am a lazy donkey. Conclusion A lot have happened since I last mined Ethereum and to be honest, I actually turned off my mining rig again. Right after completing the test. Currently I won't earn anything on mining Ethereum and if I really want it I can just go buy it cheaper than I can mine it. That way I'll also save on the wear and tear on the actual hardware. Unfortunately for me, currently there's no cryptocurrency I can actually mine and earn anything on due to the extreme power cost here in the European Union. However, if you live in a lovely area around the world where electricity is cheap, then Lot Miner is definitely one of the top tier miners, especially for Ethereum. I will do NB Miner and G Miner tests as well, so we have something to compare it to, but currently it looks quite good actually. Now, as I said in the intro, if you have any cryptocurrencies you want me to cover, drop a comment with it and I will have a look at them. If you want to vent a bit because I've been gone for two months, then you're also welcome to call me an ass in the comments, as I am a donkey after all. Other than that, I just released a video of mining Ergo in T-Rex version 0.26.4 as far as I remember. I released it today, which means yesterday from when this video will be released. So if you want to mine Ergo, go check it out. I hope you enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed making it. And again, I apologize for being AFK for a while, but you know, life, things happen sometimes and uh, hopefully for the better, but time will tell. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a lovely day.